1. Why there is an urgent need for civil services reform in India. GS Paper 2, Role of Civil Services in a Democracy. What is the context about? We cannot march through the 21st century with the administrative systems of the 19th century, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced in a recent speech delivered at the government think tank Niti Aayog. The remark served as a welcome acknowledgement that the essential bureaucratic organs of the Indian state are badly out of the way with today's demands. Why there is an urgent need for civil services reforms in India? At a time when India stands out as a relatively bright spot in a global economy, marked by slumping growth rates and extreme volatility, there is simultaneously a lingering view that corruption and politicization of the civil services have become more entrenched. Currently the IS is hamstrung by political interference, outdated personnel procedures, and a mixed record on policy implementation. Political interference poses a constant threat to bureaucratic functioning. Historical data suggests there is a 53% chance that an IS officer is transferred in any given year. Of the 3.3 million individuals employed by the public sector, the IS constitutes a tiny fraction, totaling fewer than 5,000 officers. Yet no single bureaucratic entity receives as much scrutiny. Thus there is an urgent need for civil services reform in India. Which areas need to be reformed in administrative services now? Seniority, after all, is a blunt instrument for deciding who gets promoted and who does not. So metrics on officers' performance should be used for promotion and retention decisions. Older officers entering the bureaucracy are perceived as less effective, reducing the maximum age of entry into the IS is a relatively easy reform the government could introduce. In the officers already in the service the government should consider the proposal that officers deemed unfit for further service at specified career benchmarks. The government might contemplate allowing IS officers to work more closely with their home states. Some evidence suggests that officers serving in their home state are linked to superior service delivery. While local bureaucrats are typically thought to be susceptible to corruption, the presence of strong local accountability mechanisms, such as a strong media presence, can act as a check on malfeasance. Finally, it is imperative that the central and state governments institute safeguards to protect against arbitrary, politically motivated transfers and postings of civil servants. Despite judicial prodding, most states have stalled on such moves.